Hi guys, Paul here. And one of the questions I've been getting lately is how I do that cinematic look on some of our videos. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm surprised I've been getting lots of questions about this, but I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Just kill the audio on that. I'll make the video a bit smaller so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is the video um, that we did a little while ago, uh, Thomas's Acro Flight. And what you can see is you've got this black bar on top um, and also the black bar on the bottom. Uh, surprisingly, people have been asking me how uh, that's done. It's actually quite easy. I've sort of explained it a little bit uh, via comments, etc. But just to clarify, uh, all this is is a image that I use in Photoshop. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. And we'll actually do a quick edit using this method. So if I go into my master files, uh, these are just files I've got in this program, but don't be too fast about Final Cut if you're not using Final Cut. The principle is going to be the same in uh, Premiere or whatever application you use, so that won't be a big deal at all. So I've got this file here that I use, I call it Cinema Crop, um, Revealing Finder. So this is it here. I'll open it up in Photoshop so you can see exactly what it is that I'm talking about. So this is the file that I actually use. If we go image, um, image size, as you can see it's a 1080p image and basically what it is is just a black filled image, the whole lot, and all I've done is cut out a section of it. And then I'll bring this in and add it to the top layer of my uh, video. I'll show you exactly what I've done. So we'll just do this now. So what I'll do is I've started a new uh, project. I usually start my videos with the intro. I'll insert that in there. MMRC Acro, uh, which is his Acro Flight. So this is it. Okay, I'll go from here, beginning of that, in to where he lands. Just before I come into the picture. Okay, too far. There, that'll be good. Uh, sample. Grab this guy. I'll insert him in to the timeline. <coughs> Now what I like to do before I, I'll put a quick dissolve there and a dissolve there, create, so we get a nice fade in, that looks good. Now what I like to do, so the way these clouds move, I like to actually um, emphasize that, just make it really cinematic. So what I'll do is I'll come about there. And I'll go out. And what I'm going to do is actually retime this. And I'm going to make this four times quicker. It'll just look really, really cool in the video. Um, the only downside with doing this, if people watch the beginning of your video, is they're going to think that you've actually sped up the whole video. But we're not going to focus on that or worry about that. See the way the clouds are moving nice and quickly? It looks really, really cool, I reckon. Okay, so what we'll do now, the rest of the clip is okay. And go to the end. Where he lands, and he has landed. And what I'll do is I'll speed this bit up too, and we we'll just put a fade in here. Um, either one of these will do. And the clouds move along quickly. I'd probably kill the audio there. This looks pretty good. So then all you have to do now is once you've done that, that file that we created with our Photoshop, I can just grab that, drag it in here, and drag it all the way to the end. And there you go, you've got your cinematic look. Hopefully that comes out alright on the actual video. 
Um, now there is a downside with doing this, and I'll explain what the downside is. Okay, here where he's moving forward. Now where he's moving forward, the movement here is the least, and the most movement is down here. So by cropping this section out, you're going to lose the emphasis on how fast is actually going. So you've got to really pick your videos really, really carefully. So if you're down low and flying fast, and you want your video to look low and look fast, you probably want to don't want to do this cinematic look because if you do, um, all it's going to do is just basically uh, uh, just get rid of this 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 video on the bottom, um, which is where you're getting the fastest movement. So having said that, this is the way I achieve cinema the cinematic look, and it works quite well. And then all I do is export it as a normal 1080p uh, video, either in 60fps uh, or 30fps, depending on what I want to do. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so essentially all it is is a file, either a PNG or a um, Photoshop file, with just a big black image with the center section cut out. That's all it is. So there you go. Hopefully that makes sense. Thanks for watching, guys.